magic hair. You're not too close. It's really close, man. <laughs> it's very A quick question. What was it? <laughs> Will Procedural Planets 2.0 have a mix of terrain and trees? Yeah, obviously. But go on. You answer it. Yeah. I forgot a hashtag. Who said there was 2.0? Was that my tweet I did at one point? It might have been something that I got mixed up on. Yeah. No, I did say 2.0 at one point. And what I was referring oh. to that, that's our next step on the planets where we're creating a full tool set and all that for the artists to be able to use, to be able to like so you've dial like stuff an, uh, in. a dev build. Yeah, yeah like so a, yeah. V1 internally was us getting that tech of here's a giant planet, it's physicalized, you can land on it, so on and so on. The draw distance doesn't exist, it's just yeah. the natural horizon. 2.0 internally was really yeah, then having the tool set where the artist can go in and dial stuff in. They right. can paint in the rocks and trees all that quick, yeah. push and pull terrain. So although it's procedural, you're still creating parts of it. Yeah. You, well, you have to otherwise to make it fun, right? Yeah. We need to be able to dial in the gameplay as much. So even though they like randomly procedural that. Are you going to script certain? Hello. Are you going to script certain parts of it on every planet, or? I wouldn't say so much as script it, but let's say we have a bunch of gameplay, a bunch of story, whatever that happens on desert planet. Go. Cool. I click a button. There's desert planet. Right. Now an artist can go in really quick and start dialing in. Where is that gameplay? Where do those buildings go? Where's the pass? Where you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. So we, yeah. it still is going to have it fully hand. So like, uh, yeah, like the desert planet is going to have certain. Set rules. Absolutely, and, and then, I mean the artists will be yeah. able to go in and push in caves and stuff, and, yeah. and, but quickly tweak it all out. If we didn't have that hand touch, well, I mean, it would be kind of pointless. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, here's a planet. Yeah. Like, oh, I Explore. I can't do nothing. Enjoy the yeah. fuck. Yeah. So, guys, how excited like are you now? For how excited are you? Like, how is it bursting inside of you to get it out to us? No, it's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All the time I talk with the tech guys, we see stuff. The tech guys want to as well. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. And even when we when we're like, okay, it's done, we're ready, it's still, we want to put it out at the right time, in the right place, and so on. Right? Um, People have made jokes like, oh, the German team doesn't do anything until it's done. And I'd prefer it that way. Like, yeah. Meaning we, we don't push it out, right? Until it's ready, yeah. Let it shut up, let us focus on it, let us get it done and go, yeah. bam, here you go. And like, if you looked at the people to plan it, it wasn't like we jumped up and down. It was, yeah. hey, we're working on all this but stuff. It was amazing. We kind of like, all of a sudden it starts like, in your face, here it is, it was, it look what we can do. During that live stream, which was nuts. Yeah. No, right? it went, it went, yeah Chris and Sean crazy. at the end. <laughs> yeah. Chris and Sean at I think the everybody end. They saw it, it was just like, what the? Yeah. Yeah. They played the video, Space. and everyone, oh, there's a nice video, and people were already starting to beat us up, going, oh, it's just a video. Yeah. And then they went and did it live, and they're like, all right, let's go game and do this. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so do you feel there's like so much stuff that's, that's there that we don't know about yet? There is We have a huge team working in stuff every yeah. day, so I mean the momentum behind that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And it must be like on the verge of bursting to sort of say the information, but you can't. Well, it's, it's a weird contrast. As I was saying earlier, we're used to, you know, usually in development, you're used to working in a room and you're not saying anything to anybody and they don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Now people have visibility and now they're asking all these questions, so then it's a contrast. I'm like, oh, well, I, oh, wait, no. Oh, I, I mean, oh, I just yeah. gonna, oh. it's got to be really hard to not, not say what you're not supposed to say yeah because yeah, yeah, obviously you're working a lot of stuff yeah. that you can't well, talk we about know, I mean only thing that saves us is yeah. there's a plan step by step we're following our plan we're, we're pushing things we're making progress and at one point you guys are going to see it yeah right we're and, and, and you don't have to wait forever right so it's not we're not locked in a room for years right? yeah you guys are going to see stuff but we want to get it to a point where it's as dialed in as possible. So when we throw it to you guys, it's playable. Yeah, yeah. Right? not like yeah. a mess of buggy, crushy, mess. Yeah, yeah. That would, that, why would we give you yeah, that? Yeah, of course. Be, right? I mean, obviously, stuff that's early on, if you're still calling it alpha, it has issues. Yeah. That's internally hard for us to put out. Yeah. Why do I want to give you anything well, to enjoy? That's why like, the Evocato thing was made, so that exactly. obviously, because you want to get the test feedback, but obviously, like I know, because I've been doing a lot of testing, is you get a test of where you can't even log in, Absolutely. you know, you're spending, yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously The game already released, and yep. you got people that understand that it's a test. So you obviously you have the, the testers that you. And that's why I honestly, when I stand in front of everybody, I, go, I honestly appreciate when everyone's patient. Yeah, it is patient. You, then... guys, you guys are into this, and that's awesome. 
but then there's also so much that, like you just said, like a lot of the game development, no one would even know about until three years down the line. Like, like you're, you're sharing stuff with us that we would never have, in, in a normal game, we would never have known about. Absolutely. So that's what's difficult. Like, and you, yeah, guys, you guys ask me the amount of questions we get, that's all. That's, that's honest. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Dude, when's that coming? What's that yeah. going to be? Can you give me more information? Yeah. On that? Some yeah. stuff we can, and other stuff we can't. Uh, uh, and is there which, anything which sucks for us too? But yeah, oh yeah, obviously, yeah. And is there anything that um, like you've seen? Like Not really. I think I think uh, sometimes the level of detailed questions yeah. is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> right? They know like more. They know yeah. more that about that a pixel thing. over there in the corner. Yeah. Why is it grey? Yeah. <laughs> when they're yeah. talking about a very specific thing and they've dug in eight layers deep and they're asking me how that works. Now I'm just I'm not that guy at that level. Yeah, there's working on Let it. Let me yeah. get the system designer to create it. He'll go to town and talk for hours and why. Yeah. Each yeah. Department but when they're like, like, Brian, you run the office, so can you tell me why, blah, 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 and I'm like... Like the ship's part and the, the passion from each developer that's just working on it before that they, you know, they're really investing oh, in the project as much I, as... I mean, I can speak... Six or seven guys were now 51 well, yeah, contract so you're, signed. Your latest expansion. Yeah. We were incredibly careful when each person we pulled in. Yeah. I had guys, an example, that came in that had mad skills, they were really good, really talented artists or whatever. But when we bring them on site and we talk to them, we realize that it's not their genre of game. Right, yeah, they don't really yeah. like sci fi. Yeah, They'd rather just do a straight linear. Yeah, because there's like an animator game. and then there's right? an animator that likes. Absolutely. Yeah. And so at that yeah. point, we honestly. You know, we cut ties and we just said, okay, cool. You're really good at what you really do. Good, Thanks for taking but the not, time. Yeah. So I, I can honestly say, within Frankfurt office, we've built up a team of guys that know their stuff and they're really into what they're doing. They geek out on sci fi, they geek out on <laughs> yeah. flying their ships. Yeah. And that's what we want. Yeah. We want guys that want to come to work every day going, Dude, I get to work in a space game. Yeah, right? yeah. That's the best. Thing. I mean, like you said, it's the same awesome. with the streamers you watch and things like that. It's that. You see them and it's like... And that's why every day, and no joke, I sit down and I watch people stream. Yeah. Because they're geeking out on this thing and other people and like, are coming in. And, and like you said, how, how valuable that is to see what they're interested in Absolutely. as they're playing it. So yeah. 